Hey my YouTubers, this is your girl in Fire 69 coming to you with another video. I hope everyone is having a fabulous uh, Tuesday evening. I'm here today with a true unboxing. Okay. I said I wasn't going to do as many unboxings and, I, and I'm not going to. Um, I think one of the items I got will say probably a month ago and I'm just showing it now because I just got it today um, and the other one I had purchased on the spur but I don't know if I'm gonna keep it but we're gonna open it and see how it looks but first I want to thank all my subscribers new and old for subscribing to my channel Please leave your comments at the comment section and give me a thumbs up and click the notification bell. That will give you notification every time I come out with a video. Follow me on Instagram at winfire69k. You guys follow uh, my amazing client advisor, Tiffany at LV underscore Tiffany underscore SF. She works out of the Bloomingdale's in San Francisco, Louis Vuitton, and also Sunny. She works out of the Fifth Avenue Maison store here in the NYC. Her um, Instagram is vitanize underscore me 81. Also, my girl Lisa at Lisa Loves Bag. She has an amazing collection. Also, my niece Logan at Logan Michaela. She has a um, lifestyle channel. She review. Um, natural hair care products and her I guess um grooming routine and all of this she's a college student so um you guys can follow her those that are college students you can follow her okay so um let me just show you what I got and how I got the item so the item came in here and I'm not going to show you the front part, but this is, well, this is actually the front part. The back part, I'm not going to show you. I just, I opened it, but I didn't pull it out yet. I'm going to, because I said, let me just do this true unboxing. Okay, let me give you a little bit of backstory with this. So this item, um, my friend Lisa at Lisa Loves Bags got for me, um, it had to be like last month, if I'm not mistaken. It got to be, yeah, last month. Um, she got it for me. Or maybe it was it October? I'm not even sure. I know it was, I know that it came out. It could have been November. So I had it, Lisa had it with her for like a couple of weeks. So if I'm not mistaken. I wasn't in a rush to get it, so I told, hey, hold it. I might want something else, and um, she wasn't able to get that for me, so I guess she decided to send this. Okay, now, I, in my last video, I mentioned that the Games On collection really isn't for me. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a woman of a certain age, and to me, Louis Vuitton decide or their focus is really on millennials and not me as an old fogey, a woman of a certain age. So I'm I'm gonna be 52 <laughs> in January. So for me, it, it doesn't fit my lifestyle. Let me put it that way. It's nice if I was probably 20 something, 30 something, young, young in my 30s, you know, young 30. But as a 50-something-year-old person, I don't think I want to um, walk the street with something like that. Now, nothing isn't wrong with it, but for me, my lifestyle and how I view myself in the world right now, I don't think I want to spend that money and then not able to truly enjoy the item, you know, because to me, I think it's kind of over the top. But that's what it's supposed to be, over the top, you know. So, what I still want is something. Because the Games On collection reminds me of the Murakami collection when Mark Jacobs was the uh, director, you know. The multicolor, you know, and those things like that. 
So that's what it kind of reminded me of. And when I started YouTube years back, I had my first video or my second video was a video about I had purchased, I was able to get two Murakami multicolor um, chiffon scarves, sh stoles. And I had the white one and I had the black one. And I got it from Japan. And what happened was, I, I, I'm I not going to put it on my body unless I clean it. So what I did was, I put it, I, I didn't wear it. I had it in my collection and I didn't wear it. When I was ready to wear it, I said, let me get it clean. So I went to Bridge Street Cleaners. And I'm going to say it now because that was like, we'll say five years ago, five, six years ago. I went to Bridge Street Cleaners down on um, downtown Brooklyn because they do good work. And I put it in there. So I put the two, um, I put four scarves in there. I put those two and another two Louis Vuitton scarves. Because I have silk scarves from Louis Vuitton. I didn't show you guys, but I do have them in my collection. And uh, I wanted them clean. And when I went to go get them, someone stole both of them. I don't know if they stole it or they put it on someone else's clothes. So I was out two Murakami scars. Okay. And I think I did that in my, might've been my third video or something like that. They compensated me for it, but I think I should have gotten a little bit more, but they're going to give you what market value is, whatever's on the website. So they already went out to the website and but remember, they don't make that anymore. You know what I'm saying? So they compared what was on their website. So I got like close to $1,000 for the two scarves. Okay. So I was looking up and down, up and down for those two scarves again. And couldn't find it. And that's fine. And if I do find it, it's more big. It's big money now for it. So I said, you know what? Let me break down and get something. So... You know, I love my scarves. And my girl Lisa got this for me, so I'm going to show you. I didn't want the box, nothing like that. I'm just kind of like over those boxes. I'm trying to get rid of them. So, here it is. Lisa sent the bag for me. <laughs> I told her she didn't have to, but she sent me the bag. Um... I just told her, whatever is the paper, wrap paper, give me a dust bag. I really don't care. And it came like this. And I also asked her to get me a dust bag, which she did give me that. Okay. So I could put it in my dust bag. And let me show you what I got. Now, this is very pricey. So I got the games on stole in black so this is what i got and i love it it's very soft and nice and it's not that heavy silk it's not even silk i don't think it's silk but this is what i got and this is the murakami i mean the, excuse me the games on collection scarf and i got this now, the reason why I got this, the reason why I got this is because I can wear this anytime. I can wear this for the rest of my life, <laughs> you know? I don't have to worry about selling it. I don't have to worry about the, um, the value going down on it. It also comes in like a white color, but I didn't want the white because... You know, I, I use a lot of grease in my hair, and I didn't want all of that on the scarf. So I wanted to get a darker color, and this is it here. And if I'm not mistaken, this might have been nine seventy, but I was able to get ten percent off or something like that. So maybe with ship, not with shipping, maybe with taxes, it might have came up to that. I don't know. Lisa has might have the. The, uh, the, uh, what do you call it? She has the receipt or whatever the case may be. So this is it here. And I am loving this. I'm loving this. Oh, God. Mm. 
this is right up my alley because I don't need, I already have Louis Vuitton scarves that are kind of like, you know, a wool and silk. So this is really a different, this is more like, um, let me see. Let me look at the tag, if I can find the tag. Um, I, I, let me see. And this is dry clean only. Oh, this is 100% wool, but it doesn't feel like it. Mm-mm, it doesn't feel like it. Okay, let me show you the scute number. This is the scute number, you can see. And this is the games on. Okay, so that's that. So I got that from her, and I'm so grateful. Lisa always looks out for me. And I'm just, like, grateful for Lisa, really. And I want you guys to follow her channel. Okay, so um, I also got... I'll do that in another video. So I got this here. So I'm going to show you that this is a true unboxing. And I got a good deal on it, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it. So we're just going to look at it, analyze it, and then decide what we're going to do. So, I mean, everybody's going crazy for um, for um. I'm not going to say crazy, but everybody is just loving Coach right now. So I decided to also get a Coach bag. So let me show you guys this. It came like this and this. And this is the... And I know over the summer, I saw people buying them. I wasn't ready to buy, so... Now I was ready to buy because I got it at a decent price. So let's look at this. And the package is so nice. So I got the the Rambler. Um, how do you do this now? The Rambler. Okay, Rambler. Oh, okay. Here we go. So, I got the Rambler, the Coach Rambler, and, hmm, interesting. So, I got the Coach Rambler. I'm not taking off all of the wrappings because I'm just kind of taking it in. So, I got it in a navy blue. And... I thought this would have been bigger, you know? Hmm. Interesting. So, I got this. And it's really nice. So, back in 90, like 93, 94, Coach had came out with the Rambler. So, this is kind of a reissue. But it's not the same as the original Rambler. Um, it has a side pocket here. And I just don't want to take it apart because, again, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Um, I'm just looking at it. So this is the blue. It comes in blue, mango, tan, black, and British tan. So this is what this comes in as. It has a turn lock on the top. And um, let me just, okay, let, let's take it apart and let's see where we're at with this. Because I really want to kind of like, mm, see, if it's something I want to keep. Okay, here we go. So I know how that goes. So, so here it is here. And it's a turn key. And it's like this here. Ooh. So you have a pocket here. Oh, and I got a dust bag here. Let's see here. And this is a skew number for it. Let me see if, I can, if you guys can see that. Okay. I'm sorry if you can't see the skew number. 
there it is. And let me take this apart here. Okay, so. Oh, there's just so many, so much stuff in here. Okay, so it has a credit card slot here. Inside has a linen lining, and then it has a zipper over here. And this is a large, large zipper compartment. And this is this here, and it, this is like a burgundy or brownish leather. So inside of it is leather with linen, and it has a zipper tab, has a pot back pocket, um, adjustable straps. So this is where it's going to get interesting because if this doesn't fall, um, if this doesn't fall under my waist, I'm sending it back. <laughs> it is what it is. So I'm going to look at it and then decide what I'm going to do. But this is the Rambler, Coach Rambler in the Midnight Blue. And um, I think I paid two. 48 for it if I'm not mistaken which I kind of think is pretty expensive I'm not saying it's pretty expensive but um I don't know I don't know if this is worth it but we'll see what happens so that is the Rambler and I think it's kind of small for me I don't think I'm gonna keep it so but I think that is it for right now I want everyone to enjoy the rest of their week Please um, wear your mask. Um, please put some gloves on or use some hand sanitizer. Follow me and my gang on, on Instagram. And uh, until next time, stay blessed, be safe. Bye now.